Welcome everyone to this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. I hope you all are doing well. This is the Polar four person pop up tent. This is a product that I've begun testing out already. I took it out for an overnight trip recently where unfortunately it leaked and it leaked from three different locations. Here's the kicker though. The majority of this tent was underneath a tarp. Only one door was partially exposed. Maybe like 2% of the entire tent was exposed. And get this, it leaked. It leaked like crazy. There were two identifiable points where it leaked on the inside of the tent. There was a third one where I couldn't tell where the water was coming from. During this test night episode, it leaked on both sides of the door, namely where you have the tie off material for the door itself. So let's say that you want to open up this door, right? You undo the zipper, there's straps so that you can tie the door back, the fabric back. That way you can access the inside of the tent. It leaked from both of those locations, one on each side of the tent. It was in that adventure that I asked the question, how bad would this tent leak if it was set up outside with no tarp over the top? That's what we're going to find out in this episode. Already rain has begun falling. In fact, it's beginning to sprinkle right now. The tent has been set up. It's fully staked out. It is ready to face whatever weather is coming our way. What I want to simulate is the real world. For an example, you take this tent out, you set it up, a thunderstorm rolls in. How bad is this tent going to leak? That's the question. That's real life right there. You cannot control the weather. And so with a product like this, with any tent, there's always that possibility that rain is going to fall. That's why you need a waterproof tent. To be honest, this episode's all about having fun, right? Let's just see how bad this tent performs in the rain. Again, we know it leaks already. It is what it is. We have contacted the company about this issue. And so far, we have not heard much from them. After the initial trip out with this tent, we emailed the company. Three or four days pass, we get a response. We respond. <laughs> four days later, we're still waiting on a response. As it stands right now, I have no idea how this is going to wrap up as far as this company goes. But what I can tell you is this. Based upon my impressions of this tent so far, the fact that it leaks, I would not recommend purchasing this tent. Anyways, everyone, that's enough for now. Let's await the rain and let's see how this tent performs. Again, I will be out here at Lone Wolf Mountain for as long as it takes for this tent to go through a really good rain event. If you didn't see the adventure where I had this tent underneath the tarp, check the description box down below. You will find a link to that trip. As a refresher, this is the Polar four person tent. This is an A-frame pop-up style tent, very similar to the Gazelle tent, as far as like the way that it pops up. The frame system, the frame mechanism is very similar. Now, obviously this is a very different tent and I have to be honest, I'm disappointed that it leaks so badly. This is a true three season tent, whereas the Gazelle, it's too hot to use in the summertime. It's not bug proof, it just doesn't make any sense. This tent here is double walled. You have the fly and on the inside you have a ton of mesh. I mean, airflow on it, top notch. But unfortunately, it's not waterproof. Folks, it is beginning to rain now. Here it comes. Let's see how well this tent performs together. It is time for an update everyone. It's been about two hours since it began raining. And during that course of two hours, the rain has been super light. I mean, super, super light. The tent is wet, but the ground is dry. If you know what I mean? That's how light this rain has been. I've been looking at the radar, showers and storms are on the way and they will be here later this afternoon going into the evening. And without a doubt, they're coming in later tonight as well. All that we could do now is simply wait.
The rain just slacked off a little bit, so I've crawled inside of the tent here to take a look, and already it's leaking. Already it's leaking, and it really hasn't even rained. The rain today has been super, super light, and yet it's leaking in two places. The other night when I was inside of this tent, it was leaking on that side. This time, it's leaking on this side. The odds are it's actually leaking on that side, but it's not dripping against the mesh. It's running down the fly. But on this side, it's actually running down and dripping onto the mesh. That way we can see it. So on this side here, it's dripping down onto the mesh. On this side here, it's dripped down and it's actually on the floor. It's going to be really hard to see it, not only because there's not much there, but because of the color of this tent. Inside of here, as you can see, it is like bright orange. <laughs> it messes with the camera pretty bad. But nonetheless, I can tell you there's water on the floor here. I know I shouldn't be surprised, but I am. I'm surprised that it's leaking already. And the thing is, it really hasn't been raining hard. That goes to show that this tent has a serious flaw. The simple fact is, it cannot keep you dry. This tent is simply not waterproof. in the morning. I've been hearing thunder for the last 10 minutes or so. Because of that, I decided to hop outside of the truck. I've been watching the sky here, seeing some flashes. I looked at the radar. There's a wave of storms coming this direction, but based upon their track, I think it's going to go to our east. It's going to be really, really close. I think we'll get some rain, but I don't think like the brunt of the storm is going to hit us. Not yet. Later on this morning, I think it's possible, but for now, I think we'll hear some thunder, we'll see some flashes, and we'll get some rain. It is now six o'clock in the morning. It's raining heavily outside. And I, I finally feel content with the rain test that I've done for this polar tent. We're finally there. It took all day, all night, <laughs> all morning, but we've done it. Taking a look at the radar, we have heavy rain for the next couple of hours, and then it may slack off a little bit afterwards. But that's just a maybe. With systems like this, it's constantly changing, and just because there's nothing on the radar now doesn't mean there won't be in five minutes. All of a sudden, the heavy rain ceases. It's still raining out there, but it's not super heavy. 
And here in a minute, we'll check on that tent. We have definitely had some leaking with this tent. The inside material, the body, is wet on this side here. It does not appear to be wet on this side. What I'm noticing here is that the floor of the tent is wet. There's little water drops all over the place. And I can see that in this corner over here, there's actually a little bit of pooling. This area here is wet. You can see all of those water drops. Over here in this corner, there's quite a bit of water. definitely leaking from this point here and it's leaking from this point here as well additionally this side of the tent is soaked and we have small water drops on the floor oh yeah actually this side here has been leaking as well to be honest, I thought it would be worse, but that doesn't mean a whole lot. For $300, this tent has a lot of problems. It's leaking from all over the place. I mean, more places than I can count. <laughs> Let's actually try. One, two, three, four, five, six. At least six locations. For a tent that costs this much money, that's unacceptable. For this test night episode with the Polar four person pop-up tent, that's it, I'm done. This is a product that I simply do not recommend. There's definitely an issue with this tent that the company needs to rectify. We know for certain that it's leaking in each of the tie-off points for the doors, plus some other locations as well. In total, I counted six leaking points. For a tent that costs $300, this is unacceptable. And the truth is, for any tent, leaking is unacceptable because all that's doing is putting your life at risk. When you go out into the wilderness, even if you're car camping, you're trusting that shelter to protect you. And in this situation, the polar tent is not capable of protecting the user. If the company is able to solve the issues with this tent in the future, we will let you know. If you enjoyed this episode, hit the thumbs up. I do appreciate it. Everyone, I'm going home. I'm tired. Basically, I did not get any sleep last night. My focus was on this tent. When it comes to a product that I'm testing out, I wanna make sure that I show you all step by step that testing process. If a product's good, I say so and I show you how and I explain why. If there's a bad product, it fails, I show you why, I explain why. In this case, this tent is simply not waterproof. It leaks from all over the place and I'm done. Folks, I will see you all with the next one. Take care, be well, strength and honor.